I'm Adam Nasher, and today I am doing a video I have never thought I would do in my life. I was always too scared, embarrassed, and nervous to do this video. And I don't want anybody to know about this. Uh, why am I doing this? But today is a day, so <laughs> here we go. So I have a disorder called myotonia congenita. I'm sure not lots of you guys know what this is. But it makes my muscles stiffen up to the point I can't move them or do anything for a few seconds or minutes. It's a temporary tightness in my muscles. The more I move them, the looser they get, the less I move, the stiffer they get. So let me give you an example. Let's say I sit down, play video games for two hours, and try to get up. It'll take me about 10 seconds minimum to get up and be able to walk. Now, Adam, that's not bad. Well, it's pretty bad if you feel uncomfortable and your muscles are tight. Pretty pretty damn bad, but I'm used to it by now. I'm 18 years old, obviously. So, yeah. And this disables every single muscle in my body not to relax like a normal muscle would. And I know there's people who see me walking weird some days, like at school and stuff. Currently, there's not a cure to this disease. There is a medicine I take, I'm sure, People who have myotonia congenita like me take mixilatine, but it just like relaxes your muscles a little bit. I mean, it doesn't really do anything to me, but it kind of it does. It makes it a little better, you know, a little easier to get up and stuff. But yeah, if I stopped taking it, I would not be able to get off my seat. But yeah, the older I get, the worse it gets for some reason. I don't even know. That's what I feel like. Like I used to be better. But, I don't know, I need a better medicine, alright? <laughs> alright, guys. Alright, and the best analogy I can give you to compare to what I have, my disability, is probably oobleck. I don't know if you guys know what that is, it's that one slime. But, you know, the harder you hit it, bow, the harder it is. You know, basically, the harder I hit, the stiffer my arm gets. You see, it took me a while to, to bring my arm back. It's because I hit so hard. But, like, if I go easy... I go easy you know easy it won't be it won't be stiff but um the, if i hit hard it's hard to bring back right if you hit the black hard it's hard <laughs> so it's stiff basically but you know easy you put your arm you put your hands in easy and not slime you know it's easy it's loose like like my hands you know but if i grab hard it's hard to open See, that's the best analogy I can give you guys. It's really not a good analogy, but that is the best analogy I can give you. All right, next thing. All right, guys, let's get in, bro. Let's like, let's get in. Let's actually give you guys some like examples. Let's like show you, cause you guys are like, oh, this guy's normal. Oh my god, he's doing a video. He can, uh, you know, move his hands. He can move his legs and stuff. But let's give you an example. Now let me show you what my Tonya congenita really is. All right, so let me give you a quick example right here, a little video of me running. Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Whoa, why did you purposely fall? So, I didn't purposely fall. Well, well, I purposely ran to fall for the video, but I didn't purposely fall, basically. All right, you know what? Let me tell you what happened there. What happened there is, me, I ran. So, my muscles moved too fast. The speed, my muscles, my muscles couldn't handle the speed I was going. And it stiffened up. Boop, oh my god. I stiffened up like a statue. Boom, and I just, wee, bam, and I just fell. That's what happens when I move a speed. Or something pushes me, like someone pushes me. Like if someone like randomly just pushes me out of nowhere, like at school, you know how kids be playing around. I hate when they do that, bro. My friends, but they, they don't, most of my friends don't know I have muscle dystrophy. This is why I'm making this video, because everybody at school, hopefully they watch this video. I don't want them to, but they have to. <laughs> no, like, I, I'm making this video. I don't want no one to know about it, but I guess I have to do this. And I'm doing it so late. I'm already a senior in high school. <laughs> like, I should have been done this in middle school, but you know what, whatever. This is always, you know... It's never too late. But what was I, what was I saying? What I was saying is that, yeah, something pushes me to speed I can't handle. Like, you know, if, like I just said, you know, this, if I go too fast, oh, you know, it stiffens up for like a second, right? 
But um, like me right now, I'm sitting down. If I stand up fast, I will literally just fall like statue. Like boop, oh shoot, bow, right? That's why I, sometimes I purposely just get up just to fall because I'm bored. But uh, <laughs> so yeah, if I run, I, basically I can't run unless you know unless I stretch. You know, if I stretch my muscles out, like let me let me give you an example real quick. All right, let me show you something real quick. So you guys see, oh man, you can't run. That sucks. You know, like oh. If you try to run, boom, you're gonna, boom, you, you can't handle that speed, so you're gonna, your muscles are gonna stiffen up, bow, and you're gonna fall. Well, not really. So, like, this right here, if I go, you see this hand right here? Oh, yeah, it's getting stiffened up, right? If I, if I just keep on doing it, though, like, oh, under, I, like, I have to loosen them up. It's like, let me see, what can I, what can, it's like a screw. It's tight, oh my god, bro, but the, you gotta just loosen it up, you know? Like this, ah. Uh, like ah you see like the more i move it that's like i gotta i just gotta keep on moving it i gotta keep it heated like you gotta like, you just gotta keep it going right, ready. Ah. Ah. or and then once <laughs> so if you keep it going you keep it going like say okay oh my god i'm loosened up and i can run and i just stop running for like five minutes bow that's it it's done i'm hella stiff i'm stiff i'm stiffer than i was before i don't know why I honestly don't know why I, w I should get into that maybe I'll make a video on why I like do my re research but say I run a mile and then I stop and I lay down oh my I am not getting up I'm so stiff <laughs> all right next section of this video okay this right here is the greatest villain the Armageddon of Myotonia Congenita. I hate, I don't like. I don't like them. Stairs. Alright? Stairs. I've been fighting them for years. Okay, <laughs> let me be serious. But stairs, that's. Myotonia and stairs are, just don't go together. Alright, let's get into it. Here's a, uh, a clip of me going upstairs and then going down. Okay, now going downstairs, uh, there's really, you know, nothing. You really can't tell anything. Going upstairs is a whole nother story. And now, you guys see me going up the stairs. Oh my god, I'm so stiff. I barely can go up. It's very, 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 very hard and it hurts. But for that clip, I purposely went up the stairs fast. But if I was being realistic and I see stairs, I'm not going to go up the stairs like that, like fast. Just like, I was doing it for the example to show you guys. But if I was being realistic... I would actually go upstairs, you know, maybe stop a few times on a step or go slow. Because why would I go up fast and just hurt myself? You know, like, yeah, it hurts. Like, I'm going to go up slow, take my time. But, uh, so scary. Stairs are so scary. Let me just tell you why. It, obviously, it's scary because I don't want to fall. And obviously, it's scary. And I just don't like it. And it's scary. Most like, <laughs> uh... It's scary because I go to school, right? And I have classes upstairs. I go up the stairs, bro, like, th there's at least three, 2,000 people at my school. Yeah, it's a lot of people. And it's crowded. Stairs are crowded. Ooh, people rushing down the stairs going up. Me over here struggling to go up the stairs and worrying if people will just bump into me just a little bit, move me too fast. And there's some days I'm, my muscles are ba very, very, very bad. Like, I barely can stand up. And there's other days, you know, I can go up the stairs easily. But... It's scary. Alright, imagine someone just bump into me, just boom. I fall back, just crack my head. Ooh. Yeah, so it's very scary and other I always wait until the um the stairs, they're clear and then I go up. But sometimes, you know, I go up the stairs and there's people that go down or go up from behind me, like, oh like because obviously there's gonna be people going up the stairs. When when I hear someone go when I hear someone going up the stairs, I take out my phone, act like I let me let me just give you an example. Okay, so say I'm going up the stairs. And there's like a girl or a guy or imagine there's a girl i have a crush on she's going up the stairs behind me or something i just pull out my phone like act like i'm doing something stop on the stairs so she don't see me going up the stairs hella awkwardly struggling like looking weird it, 
dude, I know. I need to stop doing that. I need to just, you know, feel comfortable with myself and actually been working on that. And now I don't care what people say. I go up the stairs, look at me weird, stand behind me. There's people that say, hurry up. I'm like, bro, this is sixth year. I'm on my top speed right now going up these stairs. I'm sorry, go around me or something. Everybody starts going around me and stuff. So I don't really care anymore. But man, I used I used to do that a lot. I just stopped this year, like a few months ago, doing. I was just working on that. But I, I mean, obviously, I still feel embarrassed when people see me. But like, you know, you just got to do it. You got to feel comfortable. For you people who have my Antonio congenital watching this video, hopefully, there's people watching this. This is what I'm making it for. But um, yeah, you just got to feel comfortable. Going up them stairs with people looking at you hella awkward because I look so stupid when I'm going up the stairs. Like. I know that, <laughs> like, man, <laughs> and imagine a girl you have crush on or something, bro, oh my god, that, it's just hurts, it hurts, but you gotta do it, Uh alright, 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 <laughs> another one, another, another embarrassing thing, there's so much embarrassing, thing. just, just me walking is embarrassing, like, but you know what, you just gotta go with it, let me show you something else, the mo you, you have no idea, only if you have myotonia congenita, You'll understand this. Sneezing in class or anywhere is so embarrassing. Wait, oh my god. What is sneezing? Why is sneezing so embarrassing? <laughs> Let me show you. This is what happens when you sneeze. Just at you. You know, um, your eyes, eyelids, your whole face just stiffens up and you look like an alien. I know, I'm sorry I had to do that for you guys. It's embarrassing for me to do on video, but I had to do it. But that is what happens. That one actually went by pretty fast. It usually stays for like... A lot a long time but yeah my mouth everything stiffens up on my face and it's very embarrassing so what I do in class when I do a chew someone you know bless you bless you bless you bless you <laughs> I just I just cover my face act like oh my god man um snot or whatever I don't know I'd rather have people think I have snot going through my nose and see me look like an alien all right so I just you know cover my face or look down act like I'm tying my shoe I don't know anything but just don't let them see your face that's it that is that's the game <laughs> That one, I'm still working on. That's that's very embarrassing. Why would I want someone to see me looking like weird, all right? Yeah. <sighs> all right, guys. So, all right, guys. This is the end of the video, but I just want to say some stuff. Please listen. I'm making these videos because there is, you feel alone when you have myotonia congenita because there's no one that I know that has myotonia congenita like me. You start feeling alone, and I wanted to make these videos... For people that have myotonia congenita. So hopefully this reaches out to people who have myotonia congenita. Or if you have a friend that has myotonia congenita, you know, you watch this video to understand it more. Please stick around, maybe subscribe to this channel if you have myotonia congenita. Because I'm going to be posting a lot of videos about it. Like this video, comment below, ask some questions. If you don't have myotonia congenita, or if you do, comment. I'll answer all your guys' questions in the next video I make. Um... Uh, I'm going to interact with you guys a lot in these videos, so I'm going to be listening to you guys. I'll be listening to you guys, and thank you, thank you, thank you a lot, like, from, I don't know how to thank you guys, but thanks so much. I love you guys. If you have my Tony Congenita, hey, dude, let's go. We got this, all right? <laughs> all right, guys, this is the end of the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Skirt, 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 skirt. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one very soon.